Hello everybody and welcome to Do That At Home. Today I just want to say whoopee because we are going to do some whitewashing and some color washing. So as you know we've been working on a pile of uh, cedar. You can use any kind of wood that you want. We have very old cedar so it has a lot of uh, wear and tear which will be great for the whitewashing. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to whitewash and also how to color wash. And so here are some of the materials that we'll need. So we'll have our, our wood um, and I've made a whitewash and so we just use regular latex paint. Uh, you can also use the acrylic um, art paint if you want, that, that works fine too. And we're gonna start with um, a ratio of one to one. And so one part water to one part paint. So I've got these all mixed up already. And so we'll start with the, with the wash. So as I said, this is old wood and it's going to probably soak it up pretty quickly. Uh, you should also have rags nearby, uh, just white, you know, whatever color t-shirts cut into squares and some water and I'm going to get my rag a little wet so that I can help with the color wash with the white wash first. So you simply take your wash and get it all on the, the wood. You want to work quickly because of course this is soaking in especially this is very old. You want to work quickly to keep a wet edge so that's how we do that. And you go back with your wet rag. And you simply wipe it off. And depending on how, um, how opaque you want the whitewash, that's how much you take off. The more I wipe, the more comes off. So just keep in mind that when this dries, the paint does dry uh, a little bit more opaque. And you can see on this piece, um, this comes out more of a gray. So even though it's white paint, it comes out more of a gray on this wood. And if you would like more of a, a barn look, like this has come from an old barn, then we can just take the, the red and do the same thing. Again, it's about a one to one ratio, one part water to one part paint. Take our rag, get it a little wet. This one has a little white still on it, that's okay. And we're going to wipe it off. And this piece uh, I've done previously so you can see what it looks dry. So here it looks pretty there isn't a lot of color, but once it dries, you can see there's a lot more color left. And you can do this with any color you like. Um, so you can match the decor of your home. Um, you can go for kind of a stained glass look. And so here are the sage greens. Simply wipe it down and the green tones will stay in there. We have a we have a green right here. So this is kind of a comparison of this is what it will look like when it's dry and this is what it looks like when it's wet. Okay, and then after that, if you'd like to add more distressing and, and if you'd like your piece to look a little differently, uh, what we can do is 
take our dry piece and find our sandpaper. And you can distress this a little more. You can sand it a little bit. Sand with the grain of the wood. you've taken off some of the the color and then you can take a stain and you can stain on top of it you can, there's also another method where you can start with the stain uh, stain your wood first and then come back and whitewash or color wash over it you get different effects both of them are very nice. So you take another rag. Dip it in your stain. You have a, a distressed but a different look. Uh, we can take our white wash that we have that looks gray. And if you don't um, get it, you know, soggy wet, you can have a very nice look. Here you can see that the stain is sticking to the ups, but not the downs. The not going in the valleys, but sticking to the mountains. So you have a really nice look at that point. And you can do this as much as you want. Um, and then if we go to our barn look, which is a little pink, uh, the stain should knock this right down. There you have more of a, a barn look, a red barn look. Um, and then when this is all done, when your uh, stain has thoroughly dried, we simply take some polyurethane and apply a coat of polyurethane to the top or two, depending on uh, how much time you want to put into it. And basically you're done. Uh, you can do this on picture frames. You can. There's all sorts of projects you can do this on. So I just want to say thank you for joining us today. And if you've enjoyed this or if you found these tips helpful, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we would really appreciate hearing what you've been doing with your color washing. Thank you.